everyone, it's Nicole Spore for Simon Says Stamp, and today we're going to be creating a couple of cards using components from the Simon Says Stamp April 2022 card kit called Life is a Party. We're going to be using tiny die cuts cut directly from the pattern papers from the kit to coordinate with these simple designs. We're going to use pattern paper for the background, plus create this great little sentiment box in the center of our design and then I'm going to use some favorite Simon Says Stamp dies to die cut additional embellishments for my cards. We're going to start with the XOXO card and for this one we are going to stamp one of the sentiments from the Life is a Party 6x8 clear stamp set included in the kit right on black cardstock using embossing ink and heat embossing with some white embossing powder. This is going to give us a really nice crisp greeting for that great graphic type of background. I'm using the Rabbit Hole Designs powder tool. I absolutely love this powder tool and I know that my cardstock looks terrible right now but it really does help keep the embossing powder directly on the area I stamped. Once that embossing powder has cooled, you don't want to do it right away, let it cool a bit. You can buff away any of that excess powder with a microfiber cloth, your finger maybe even, a paper towel, something like that, and you are left with a great little sentiment. Now I'm going to play around with some of the Simon Says Stamp basic squares. I picked this one first, but I'm actually going to go back to that one that's the next size bigger to leave a little bit more of a border all the way around and run that through my die cutting machine. I'm also going to stamp the phrase sending hugs and kisses from that life is a party stamp set using VersaFine onyx black ink. Then we're going to die cut this with the sentiment labels die and that is going to be the rest of our sentiment for this card. The first card is going to be the all over heart background. I did use a rectangle die that's A2 sized to trim this from there, but you definitely can just use a paper trimmer if you want to as well. Next, I took a little teeny tiny heart from the Simon Says Stamp Nested Hearts Collection and I die cut a bunch of hearts. I've got them sorted in these great little triangle trays from Simon Says Stamp to keep the colors separate and I'm actually going to layer them right over the background. Now I don't need to cover the entire background because our sentiment square is going to go in the center of this design. So I'm simply placing a little dab of glue, using an embellishment wand, and picking up my hearts and popping them in place. The tone on tone of this, it adds a great little simple embellishment, but it really adds to the finished design because it's very, very simple. I am a huge fan of pattern paper, and the pattern papers in this April kit are from the Damask Love 6x8 paper collection, and they are so beautiful. I simply used that little teeny tiny die from the nested hearts and die cut little extra ones from whatever was left of the pattern paper I used for my background. I'm going to pop up my XOXO using some foam adhesive just to give it a little bit of dimension and then we're going to pop up the sending hugs and kisses in the center as well. I'm using my favorite scrapbook adhesives foam adhesive squares on the back of my square. I absolutely love these. They're so easy to use. And then right here in the center, we're going to pop up our sentiment. I didn't add a heart to that other yellow heart on the background because that's going to be covered up with a little thought bubble here in a minute. I don't know that I got that super straight. I maybe should have broke out my T-square ruler for that. Let's just adjust it real quick. Place some foam adhesive on the back of our sentiment label that we also created using the Life is a Party stamp set. And I'm going to place this right in the center of the XOXO. I love the crisp black and white on this beautiful colored background. I knew when I saw this heart background that I definitely wanted to do something with it. 
Next, we're going to stamp our Thought Bubble on some smooth white cardstock from the kit using Versafine Onyx Black Ink. And we will trim this out with our scissors and pop it up on our card background with foam adhesive. Now I accidentally smudged the first one, so I stamped it again. And I used an acrylic block um, as it was easier than putting it in my Misty. I probably should have stamped it at the same time as my sentiment strip. I'm gonna use my scissors to quickly cut out the thought bubble shape. And then I want my little thought bubble to be kind of be coming up out of the XOXO. So hanging off of our sentiment square, but also partly over the background. I did die cut an extra heart accent when I was die cutting all of those little teeny tiny hearts so that I could cover up the heart in the stamped image with one of the red hearts. I think leaving the black and white would have been cute as well. Let's get that positioned. I'm gonna put a little glue. We'll take our red heart and pop that in place for an extra touch of color. Finally, I'll just put a little glossy accents right over that heart to finish up the design and our XOXO card is all finished. For our daisy background, I went ahead and die cut my square first and then I realized the word today from the Life is a Party stamp set actually hangs off the edge and it was going to be hard to stamp in my Misty. So I'm gonna take the negative space and place that back in my Misty as well as the square and we're going to stamp the word today and the phrase it's your birthday all at one time. I again used the Rabbit Hole Designs powder tool we're gonna stamp this with clear embossing ink and heat emboss with white embossing powder. And I might stamp that more than once just to make sure that I have a really good impression. Once the embossing powder is all the way dry again, we will buff away that excess powder with a microfiber cloth. Now for this design, I am going to use some of the other pattern papers that came in the kit to die cut the extra little flowers we're going to use to embellish our sentiment square. So I wanna do lots of layering because this is simple, but the background is nice and busy and I didn't feel like it needed a whole lot extra. The daisy paper in the kit also really spoke to me and I like how the black looks against this mostly white and yellow background with of course that little touch of black outline for the daisies. We're gonna pop up our sentiment square with foam adhesive again. And then we have another little sentiment label. This time I used um, is your day phrase from the life is a party stamp set. It is more of a reverse sentiment strip, but I am gonna die cut it with the thinnest sentiment label die from Simon Says Stamp. And then I, I stamped the Hay Thought Bubble that we will trim out with some scissors and pop up just like we did for the first card with a little foam adhesive. I like the idea of the little thought bubble coming up out of our sentiment uh, little square in the center of the card. So I'm grabbing my scrap of smooth white cardstock to stamp both of those things really quick, and then we will trim or die cut. Oh, and that's what happens when your stamp sticks to you. I'm again using Versafine Onyx Black Ink. If I'm not gonna be doing Copic coloring, the Versafine Onyx Black Ink is my favorite as it gives super good coverage and is nice and black. So it really um, is great for this. So here's my sentiment label die, and I'll go run that through my die cutting machine. I'm going to add a foam adhesive square on part of the back of the thought bubble. Whatever's hanging over the sentiment square, I'm not gonna place the adhesive there, but up at the top, whatever's hanging off the edge, and then we'll put foam adhesive on the back of our sentiment strip and pop that in place. 
Now for the decoration for this card, I'm not decorating the background. I'm going to actually decorate some of that open white space on the sentiment square. So there's a lot of space next to It's Your Birthday that doesn't have anything. And I thought it would be fun to take these Simon Says Stamp mini flowers and leaves and use them to embellish the square. Super simple, um, teeny tiny little pieces, but I absolutely love this die set. It's great whenever you need little um, flowers of some sort and I simply positioned the flowers and the leaves over green and yellow places on another piece of pattern paper to use on my card. So I'm going to continue adding all of these little bits and pieces to the sentiment square real quick. When working with little pieces like this I find that tweezers and an embellishment wand are your best friends. So I'm using a combination of tweezers and an embellishment wand to kind of get everything placed where they go. I thought it was amazing what a huge difference just the addition of a few little florals made for this sentiment square and they tie into the background perfectly. There is also a blue pattern paper in the kit that I think would give you very similar results and would be super pretty. So there is my leftover pattern paper. I can still use that for other cards. And then I am going to take some white pearls from Pretty Pink Posh and place those in the center of the flowers to give them a nice finished look. The little triangle trays from Simon Says Stamp are perfect for all of your embellishments. It makes it so easy to pick out exactly what you want put it on your project, and then of course funnel it right back into the little bag or storage container of your choice. I can't say enough great things about these. I use them every time I craft now. I absolutely love them. So the triangle shape makes it perfect for slipping into these teeny tiny little storage bags. And here are my two finished cards. Thank you guys so much for joining me today for these two cards featuring tiny die cut pieces from Pattern Paper using components from the Simon Says Stamp April 2022 card kit called Life is the Party. The supplies I use today are listed and linked below the video here on YouTube for your convenience. Thank you so much for joining me and we'll see you next time.